If Car of the Year were awarded solely on the basis of design, the Lexus LC would drive off with this year's golden calipers. The design has a lightness and proportion that is nicely gestured and blends with some beautiful surfaces, Tom Gale said. Added Chris Theodore, the Lexus LC500 is a startling sight on the road, with great proportions and a sleek profile. However, many questioned the goofy grille, insane clown posse headlights, and bizarrely shaped their pillar. Design however, encompasses both the outside and the inside, and the LC500's gorgeous interior is about as good as cars get. Said Frank Marcus, I find the finished product striking and engaging especially on the inside. As a group, we were smitten by the blue and orange interior trim with white leather seats on the LC500 hours. This interior excellence falls apart when it comes to the infotainment system, though. Congratulations, Lexus, you built the world's worst user interface, Christian Seabaugh said. Although we all love the potent naturally aspirated thrills from the brawny 5.0-liter V8, we decided to take the futuristic hybrid version along as a finalist. Probably a mistake. Peculiar powertrain strategy in this car, Frank Marcus noted. I fail to see the payoff of this incredibly complex hybrid. It doesn't feel anywhere near as fast as the V8, yet the real-world fuel economy doesn't seem that impressive either. Did we mention that the hybrid costs almost $5,000 more than the V8?